Welcome to ancient China, home to the world's oldest continuous civilization. You are about to travel back in time over 4,000 years, for it was then along the fertile banks of the Wei River that several families banded together, discarded their nomads' cloaks, and established a small settlement. As village elder, it is your duty to plan the layout of this new settlement. You will be called upon to provide your people with food and water, as well as a means to slake their spiritual thirst. All right, guys, let's get right to it. So, of course, we're starting with absolutely nothing. And the first thing we want to go for is shelter and sustenance, road access for all of our buildings, and pretty much a few important things. So, for instance, um, one of these things is fire prevention. You have these inspectors, which inspect the buildings for faults and things like this, and also put out fires. Uh, hunting is going to be important as well, so we want to get... Um, definitely on to that milling the market square there's just so much to go through um in this area i think initially though the most important thing let's face it is to get people to actually show up to our new city so i'm going to go ahead and start increasing the population in the best way i know how uh, i also want to get an inspector up pretty quick because i just took a little look before doing this you know this is not like my first first look uh, and I realize that uh, fires tend to break out quite easily. Also, the wells do add a sense of feng shui. Uh, and believe it or not, in this game, feng shui is actually quite important. Your city needs more workers. Of course, yeah, we know this. Okay, so if the job goes unfulfilled, then uh, this will fall apart. Let's take a look here. Uh, is this population, industry, agriculture? Safety. It's got to be safety. There's the inspector's tower. So I'm going to put an inspector's tower right there. But of course, we do need that population increase. And I will be bringing them in. By the way, isn't this just a great soundtrack? I, I really, really like it. For those of you joining me here, this is my first premiere uh, on the channel. And no, this is not a premiere like on a, a brand new game. This game has been out for a really, really long time. Um, but it just, I don't think it's ever really been picked up. It's just really beautiful. Um, and there's still a ton I have to learn. Like right now, I'm just getting the, the very basic setup. Um, I just want to get a functional society, pretty much. Common Market Square, some shops. Interesting. So right now, our choice is to get a food shop. And I'd like to put it down, but I don't see any location for it. So perhaps we actually have to get the hunting uh, thing down, land and sea. So we've got the hunter's tent. Now, what's a good place to put the hunter's tent? I would assume that it would be good uh, to be over here by the forest, but I'm guessing we need a road. So let's get that road up and running. <clears throat> and hopefully we will start getting some profit. Look at that. We've got upgraded homes. Oh, I really love that. Our city needs more workers, so we need to bring in even more population, of course. And we'll start bringing in pop over here on this area. Also want to get another inspector's tower pretty soon, guys. I love these kind of like tycoon games. Um, I'm not sure if you guys agree, but it just really, they're so um, comfortable. It, it, like, I, I have no other way to explain it. It's just such a comfortable experience to play these games uh, and an enjoyable one, of course. Let's get another Hunter's Tent. I just don't feel like that's like one is going to be sufficient. Let's try to get two. And I'm going to put another well here. I think this also allows people to go and get water because I see them transporting it there. So that's another reason to have that. Uh, and we'll put an inspector's tower right there. Uh, we're not at a stage where we need military or anything like that. But people always need religion, um, at least in, in this particular setting. So we're going to go ahead and get an ancestral temple. And of course, got to keep it bringing in those workers, guys, as soon as possible. I'm going to put this one over here because I might have to put a well right there. But our population is growing, and I think it's eventually, or very soon even, uh, we're going to need to start expanding outwards with our roads. All right, guys, look at that population. I love the population increase, so it's at 55 right now. Uh, we should get the mill up, no? The mill would allow us to maybe start getting some stuff grown. I sure hope so. All right, let's go ahead and get it up. And it looks like, sure enough, the city needs way more workers, especially with the mill here. Um, so we'll get common housing. 
but we don't want to forget about some really important stuff and the most important stuff right now is getting uh those inspectors offices up that's right agrippa just keep clicking until you find the right one that works great doesn't it there we go uh we'll also get one of these wells and i'll put the inspector's tower right there in front of the mill now i'm not sure if the mill is producing directly on its own i think it is uh, but nonetheless, our city needs more workers. And I think what I want to do here is actually expand the road a bit. I guess we have to build around that. Um, and pretty much put houses like this so that they're close uh, to the inspector's tower in case a fire breaks out. Um, but at the same time, we can bring in a lot more population. So here's some more common housing. All right, we've now got a population of 100 people. That's what I'm talking about, guys. For putting this down we can even put a building down right there welcome to our beautiful city people what about another building over here it wouldn't hurt i don't think fortunately our houses even our houses need to be really close to the road so we want to be careful with that look at this guys the new population entering our beautiful little town and hopefully at some point this will be a massive city i'm also looking to see if there's any zoom in zoom out i don't want to mess too much with the buttons on my keyboard um usually minus will be zoom out for these kind of games but this might be as close or as far as you can get right? i think that's just fine not really an issue for me 15 newcomers arriving but well, we could expand the city more, don't you guys think? In fact, I might build a road down here. I think I have an idea. Oh, that damn tree. We're going to put another ancestral shrine right there, folks. And once again, uh, same setup over here. We might have enough inspector's towers, but better be safe than sorry. Man, that, that music is, like, intoxicating. It's really, really cool. You can see that some of the houses seem, look a lot better off than the others, so I'm not sure exactly what that has to do with. Uh, but it could be, like, location, things like that. I think if they're close to actual, like, important places... Uh, I can understand why why it would have, you know, a bigger significance, let's say. Let's see if the common market square can be built yet. Nope. What about the shops? We just want to build a basic food shop, really? All right. Well, the mill is already up. So for now, we'll stick to the mill. I'm making sure that we don't have to stick any of this next to the mill or anything like that. But I think right now the main commodity is game meat, so maybe even getting some more uh, hunting locations up would help our people to develop. Alright, I like to see those hunters coming back, guys. Look at that. Looks like he has something like an elk on his back. I'm not exactly sure what animal that is. If somebody would like to uh, take a shot at it, identifying it, go for it. Alright, we're going to drop a bunch of houses all over the place here. One, two... So maybe these green zones, maybe this is what signifies the the value of the house, if that makes sense. Put that down there. And of course, my favorite, the Inspector's Tower. I love my bureaucracy. I'm just going to build it here and expand out to it, guys. And once again, keep on building homes. They might have to walk a ways to get to work, but that's better than not having a job at all. Shrine is up. Things are going beautifully. Look at this. Now, eventually, we have to be able to unlock better buildings where potentially we could fill in these tiny gaps or maybe we could even just build a road over here and put more buildings but i think so far we're off to a decent start i mean things seem to be rolling ahead pretty quickly how are you guys liking the game so far by the way let me know in the uh, chat here i really want to know like what your opinion is of sort of an old school game like this Make sure to hit that like button if you'd like to see some more of uh, this.
this particular one. Now, of course, there's one on Rome, uh, Caesar, which is really fun to play as well. Uh, but this is, you know, I had, from Raptor, the YouTuber, it was the first time I had actually heard of Emperor uh, Rise of the... Uh, of, I can't even remember the damn name of the game. Um, but it's the first time I actually heard of this game. So it's like, oh man, I have to take a look at that. That looks really, really cool. And I'm glad to say I was not mistaken. It's also an extremely addictive game. But then again, what good game isn't, right? All right, I'm going to build the road down here just to get people into town. I mean, I think right now it's extremely important to grow that population as much as possible. And it certainly is growing. Um, but again, we're at the early stages of this game, just kind of learning the basics, learning how to build a town. I don't think we're going to have to worry about military or anything like that, but I'd love to get some shops up. And I'm assuming that's got to have something to do with the hunters and the amount of food that we're going to be bringing in. And it's also the year of the pig up on top. I was thinking maybe that's what we were hunting, but and it could be, but I, I'm I'm not entirely sure now. The game has has confused me. Come on, come in market square. Oh, I'm starting to see a lot of animals over there, guys, so maybe building closer to the animals will net us even more food. Just a thought. green and I think that's a good sign I think that means like yes that's that's a good place to be hunting animals uh, gonna have to do my standard here oh okay well we're doing our best we're doing our best telling us if job vacancies go unfulfilled we're gonna have problems we will see who has problems at the end of the day I am chieftain here not Emperor yet so even the, the name of the game is a bit deceiving because you don't get to be Emperor right away as much as we'd all like that get that inspector's tower uh, should be a green location if it's good this is just gonna have to do eventually I hope we can focus on education or something like this but right now it just seems to be standard um, Filling up the population as quickly as possible. We might have a problem with that one house. We won't have a problem with this one because we'll just do this. But I'm thinking this one might have some issues. Hopefully not. I think it'll just connect over here, hopefully. And they can they can get to where they need to go. It's also a nice center residential center to our city how many people do we have 409 people and just imagine guys in ancient china being cluttered with 409 people around you i mean this you're not messing around with this man i like to see those hunters heading out still no room for the common market square but no that's the mill we've got that what about the shops got to imagine that eventually our people are going to want a location to actually purchase their goods. But for now, we'll just keep on following the manual and uh, do what we can. Look at that. Sure enough, building over here was definitely a good idea. They're going straight for these. Uh, it looks like turkeys to me. Am I crazy? It definitely looks like turkeys or something like that. Welcome. Welcome. All right, nice. So this is definitely starting to uh, get nice and full. We've got a lot of uh, food here at the stockpile. I'm not sure if we should have, again, a road leading to this, but maybe just to be safe. Just to be safe, I'll go ahead and do this. There we go. It's 
usually the sound of a fire, not good. Keep, gotta get a look around. I think we're alright, yeah. I'm a little paranoid, guys, with my new uh, empire, I must say. I don't want anything to go wrong with it. Alright, we've got plenty more houses coming. Don't worry, people. Our doors are open to all. Right now, we are pretty much open borders. Uh, just in an effort to, you know, grow this civilization. As you can imagine, you know, thousands of years ago, it was a lot more important back then uh, to have a larger group of people that could work together um, than, you know, the individualism that obviously sort of starts to occur later. This is just very, a very important part. Of, uh, of living in a better place. Would you rather live out in the, in, you know, the wilderness or the wild on your own, uh, trying to collect resources, or live in a city where you're pretty much assured a job, um, you know, your children can even get an education, not in our city, though, <laughs> um, you know, among other benefits. It's just really, really a good place to be. And I don't feel guilty doing it this time. I am going to build some more watchtowers here. As well as a temple. But what about the Feng Shui? No, we can't really do anything with that. Alright, our city's population has reached 500. Not too shabby, guys. So here we go. Putting the inspector's tower right there. Putting a well right there at the end of the street. And the shrine is what I want next. Actually, that seems to be a great place to put it. I don't know why the shrines are, are instant. I guess the shrine is not as big as, like, a temple. Popularity has waned. What? Not good. That's not what I want. Alright, let's move up here. Can we get one more hunter? Hunter's hut? Is that the correct? Hunter's tent. Maybe a few more. Again, I just want to make sure we're getting enough food. I think we are, as you can see, as evidenced uh, by the building here. So maybe we need to build another one of these buildings uh, to hold all of our excess resources. I guess that would be in commerce. Wow, that's amazing. So our city is Banpo. There's an entire imperial map. And now I, I haven't played the game before, so I don't know if you can actually, uh, you know, go conquer other territories, etc. Sounds pretty cool to me, though. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Alright, the more the merrier. Let's bring some more in. People already eat too much. Oh boy. We have so many hunters. As long as the people are fed, I think they'll be fine. Now the issue here is we're actually losing money. Um, and I'm not sure if we can sell items, sell goods, or anything like this. Again, I'm very, very new to the game. Few residents are dissatisfied with. We'll go to another city. All right, delivery men are awaiting instructions here. I'm guessing the only way, and I could be wrong on this, but the only way to get cash up would be to uh, potentially 
get some more population now. Increase your population, increase the taxes, etc., etc. We'll have to wait and see, guys. Alright, so they still need food. Um, and again, how are we going to distribute this food to the people? I'm going to empty. I, I don't know if this is going to do a damn thing. Um, but let's empty some game meat and maybe this gives food to the people. We'll figure it out. I think the issue is just us not having those shops. And I'm not sure why we can't build it. Build a shop on a market square? Okay. And again, guys, I'm sure I'm getting chopped up in the chat. Um, because I'm new to the game. On a straight road. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. All right, folks, here we go. At least the rest of our city is looking beautiful. So now we want to build our food shop on a market square. Let's do this. And maybe what we needed to do is actually build the mill next to this thing, which I'm going to hate myself if that's what we had to do. One way to find out pretty quickly. We're going to start expanding our city some more friends. I, I plan to be here for an extended period of time for this premiere, so <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So we'll have to put the food shop right here. Now this is going to require um, a lot of our other people to travel quite a distance. So I'm going to see if there's anything I can do to maybe build a market square in this area. I don't think so though. Now here's what we can do. We can actually put a straight road, right? Wouldn't that work? So let's try and do that. And then our guys will actually have something to do with this food, and this should greatly improve our people's loyalty. Well, uh, looks like we can't do that. That's too bad. What about over here? Nope. Not straight enough. It's going to be as good as it gets, folks. You better be able to travel. That's all I can say. Now here's what we can try. Um, again, I'm not sure if this is actually gonna, gonna work, but I'm gonna clear some roads here. I didn't mean to clear that, but you know what? So be it. Um, here we go. baby. Please, please work. Now, I'm hoping that this will automatically deliver uh, the food over here. Again, I'm not sure if that's what's going to happen. But we'll see what happens. If not, then we'll get yet another <clears throat> um, one of the mills, of course. Man, things are growing here. And hopefully now people are getting food for once. Yeah, it looks like that's definitely emptying out. Alright, so they still need more food. This is definitely going to take some time. Uh, probably not a bad idea either to go ahead and get some game meat going. Hmm. 
No, don't do that. Don't do that. What do we get? How do I get rid of people's needs? I want the food thing to go away. There we go. All right, so let's take a look over here. I mean, I, I'm not sure. Uh, food buying, okay. All right, nice. So there are employees here. So they're definitely buying uh, food from from our area here. Um, doesn't seem like we have as much right now, but our hunters are going out and doing their absolute best. Uh, and now at least we've got like a viable economy going on in this area. Another thing I just considered, we should probably get another hunter here. And, uh, well, viable economy. Let's see if we start making a profit eventually. I'm assuming the vendors have to buy directly from us, but I could be wrong. You know what? I really want to see if I can go ahead and bring this road down. Yeah. Oh, what's this? What have we got here? Hello. Nice. That is a store, guys. So good. We didn't have to actually build uh, that other addition there. It wasn't necessary. Although we could build yet another food store here. Uh, let's do that. Oh, that's right. The shrine. The ancestral shrine. Especially over here. We'll also put one there to make sure people feel safe. And speaking of feeling safe, you guys know me. That's right. Okay, I'm going to drop a food shop right here. Get another one and look at that the houses are looking beautiful over here this is great the question is can we expand the common market square i don't think we can but we can try to make a few more uh common market squares we're, we're probably gonna have to take down parts of the city uh because this is going to be pretty much a slum area if we don't get a market square nearby but this area as you can see is growing very nicely welcome friends what else could we do to improve people's lives here? They're already, they've already got a really nice uh, place. They've got cool digs. I know, I'm that old. <laughs> I'm that old. Uh, let's put that down. Oh boy, okay guys, we've got a fire. Let's see how our inspectors handle it. This is not good. We don't have any inspectors in this area. You see what happens? You see what happens when I get lax on the inspectors, guys? This happens. Fires break out. All right, I'm going to try to get one up really quick. Shelter and sustenance. Wow, there we go, guys. So we did it. We successfully built a small village and fed the well on meat provided by the hunters. Okay. So we didn't actually make a profit, but we uh, accomplished the first part of the game, and I thought that was really, really fun. Welcome back to the village of Bancol. Several generations have passed, and the village that your people founded along the banks of the Wei River has prospered. There is a renewed sense of excitement in the town today. Word has just arrived of a nutritious new food source, millet. As a highly respected village elder, you are needed to plan the establishment of farms where millet can be grown to supplement the diet. Hemp farms can also be built. The fibers from the hemp plant have many uses not the least of which is for durable farms. I like hemp. Um, all right, this is really cool. So we get to continue, of course, our campaign here. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much um, my first look at uh, this game. Really loving it. Really fun stuff. Um, I think this area is screwed, though. We better we better get a guy over there quick. Don't tell me that it's going to need another well. Uh, but this was also my first attempt, really, at, um, like, sort of the, um, the premiere thing. So, if you guys enjoyed this, you know, the, my internet has been terrible lately. 
Uh, quite frankly, I, I'm going to need a new modem. That's just what I'm going to need to do. Um, so this premiere is sort of like my answer to that. I get to at least interact with you guys here um, and, you know, talk to you and engage with you in the chat. Uh, while we watch the video together. So again, if you liked it guys, let me know in the comments down below It looks like our population is thriving right now. It's a really really cool game And we also got that that cash boost which we really really needed uh, 2002 BCE of course 800 people in our town heck I wouldn't mind living here in ancient times. What about you guys? Thanks again for watching guys take care catch you on the next one